Yo, what's up? It's Kevin Hart. I'm in the building. People, people, how y'all doing tonight? It's good to be here. Now look, I want to start off by saying that I've been reading y'all Instagram posts. I've been reading them, the comments. You seen a picture of me standing next to my son. Ha, ha, ha. See, you thought I didn't know. But I knew. I knew. I read him. I know. Yeah, I know I know the secret. He's taller than me. That's right, I said it. Crazy. He, he must have got it from my dad. I don't know where he got these tall jeans from. But I need to get me a pair. Cause this is ridiculous. That's why you don't see us in too many pictures together. But when you do, you know, I'm 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 often like standing next to uh my daughter or my wife. And he's like all the way on the other side trying to embarrass me. One time I stood like in the background and had some Timberlands on and he was still taller than me. I think it's the hair. I think it's the hair. One time, we went shopping, right? And uh, something so embarrassing happened. We shopping, it's me and my son. And he's the and, uh, an old lady. She walks by and she says, Hey, you and your son look so cute. <laughs> and then she says, Thank you. And I mean, I say thank you. I'm, I'm I'm like thank you. I rush to I'm I'm rushing to the punch. Thank you. <laughs> and she's not talking to me. I, I noticed I'm like, hey, wait a minute. She's looking at my son. And my son all uh, smiling and stuff, because he's used to the jokes and stuff. He's used to the comparisons and whatnot. And I'm like, hey, lady, I'm the adult. And she's like, oh, calm down, shorty. I'm like, calm down. Granny, I will, I will karate chop you in your shoulder. Talking to me like that. My son all giggling and laughing and stuff. And she, she's looking at him, trying to talk to him like he's the adult. You need to get your son. He has a really potty mouth. I'm like, excuse me, bitch. If anyone has a fucked up mouth, it's you. Can't you tell? I got a whole beard. He, he rarely got a little chin hair. He's, and then at this point, he's standing over me. Like, not over me, but we standing side by side. And he's like three inches taller than me. So I'm trying to look at this lady who's at eye level. And then look at my son, who's like three inches tall. I'm looking up at him. And I'm like, God damn it. The math ain't mathin'. <laughs> so I'm at this fancy restaurant, right? Trying to be classy. But they got these little portions, like bite-sized meals. The waiter comes out with this tiny plate, like, here's your entree, sir. I'm like, where's the rest of it? This ain't the dinner. This is the sample. I ain't come here to taste food. I came here to eat food. I'm about to order 12 of these appetizers just to make a meal. <laughs> and I'm like, that's crazy. Because then my son, he starts bringing up some, some trampolines and stuff. Cause he, he likes talking about trampolines because the kids like doing flips and stuff. And, you know, and, and that reminded me of the time we went to a trampoline park. So my kids always want to go to these trampoline parks i'm like all right cool let's go but they don't tell you it's a trap for adults you get in there thinking it's all fun and games next thing you know your back is screaming your knees is plotting against you and you realize you're one bad jump away from me and Jesus. 
My daughter's like, come on, dad, do a flip. I'm like, flip? Girl, I'm flipping out just trying to stay alive. <laughs> but by the end, I'm by the end of it all, I'm sitting in the corner with the ice pack while my kids are bouncing like a training, like they training in the Olympics. I pay $50 to leave this place. I pay $50 to leave this place with a poor hamstring and my pride on the sling. <laughs> oh, man. Don't get me started on that. Every other day, I hear people talking about the sex tape. Talk about the sex tape, Kev. What happened, Kev? You know you fucked up, Kev. All right. Look. So listen. I'm just going to be real with y'all. I messed up. Got caught out there. Had a little fun. Let's call it tech issues. Man, I never thought I'd be out here with a highlight reel. Nobody asked for. I'm looking for that. I'm looking at the foot that footage like, who edited this? Y'all didn't even get to see my good side. And why is it that when you get caught in something like this, everybody wanna act like they know you? I got cousins I never met even, I got cousins I never even met sending me texts like, hey man, I saw you, I saw the video, stay strong, stay strong, bruh, I'm out here losing sponsorships, ain't nobody talking about stay strong, <laughs> shit, ain't nobody talking about staying strong when the Jacksons start disappearing. And the worst part, oh, man, the worst part, my wife, oh, she got jokes. I walk in the house, and she's, and she's like, oh, so you're a movie star now. I'm like, bae, let's not do this. She's like, no, no, I'm just saying, since you want to go Hollywood, where's my cut from the box office? Now I'm over here trying to defend myself like, it wasn't even in 4K though. Low resolution, no plot, no plot development. It wasn't my best work. Meanwhile, every dude I know is hitting me up like, hey man, I see you out there. No, you don't see me out here. I'm just trying to live my life without trending on Twitter or X for all the wrong reasons. And let's talk about the comments. Why is it that people got to critique, like, Sickle and Elbert? Oh, he could have had more energy. More energy? Man, I was stressed. I'm out here worrying about angles, lighting, and if my mom's going to see this. Ain't nobody in the history of scandal videos worry about C cinematography Yeah, I fucked that up Cinematography But apparently I gotta be out here Directing like Scors Scorsese uh, Scorsese Scorsese Ah, I fucked it up See, y'all know who I'm talking about The Wolf of Wall Street <laughs> Man, anyway I don't wanna talk about that Let's talk about something different Let's talk about hip-hop music, people Man, hip hop today is different. I remember when rap songs used to tell a whole story. You'd be like, oh, this is deep. He's talking about the struggle, his hustle, and his grandma's recipes. Now, it just sounds like sound effects, like sound effects and ad libs. You turn on the radio and the first thing you hear is, skip, 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 brah. I'm like, is this a song or did my car just break down? Oh, man. Skip, skip, skip. My son, he love it, though. And and these new rappers got names. <laughs> oh, man, don't even get me started on these new rappers' names, man. 
they got names like they're Pokemon, little zippity zap and young skirt skirt. I can't keep up. Back in the day, you knew what a rapper was just from their name. Biggie Smalls, Tupac. Now I got to Google these dudes just to figure out if they rap. <laughs> Shit. I don't know if they rap, make smoothies, or run a sneaker store. <laughs> and the fashion, I can't even talk about it. Dudes wearing jeans so tight, they got to do yoga just to put their phones in their pocket. I'm like, how are you going to be gangster and stretch before a drive-by? Look. I hate when somebody asks me for a jump. Not because I don't want to help. Because I don't trust these old, crusty jumper cables they pull out. They be like, hold up. I got cables in the trunk. They pop it open. And I see wires all out like a bad haircut. Sparks flying like the 4th of July. I'm looking at them cables like, you sure this is going to start this motherfucker, man? Shit. And now they electrocute us both. And then you got that one friend who swear they're a car expert. They be like, just clip the red to the positive and the black to the negative. It's simple. I'm like, bruh, I tried that last time I almost summoned lightning like I was Thor or something. I ain't trying to be an Avenger see me out here sweating like I'm trying to defuse a bomb. I'm thinking, is this how it ends for me? In a parking lot? With jumper cables and bad decisions? No, sir. I can't go like that. Mm-mm. Not K-Heart, baby. I need this heart beating. Mine electrocuted. The fuck I look like? Pikachu? <laughs> You see, I love comedy. Comedy is, is a thing I felt like I was born to do, you know? And uh, another, like, um, the good thing I like about comedy is you get to meet other comedians who are great at their craft and they love the art. And that reminds me of the first time I met Eddie Murphy. Man, the first time I met Eddie Murphy, I was nervous as hell. I'm trying to be cool, but inside I'm freaking out. That's Eddie Murphy. <laughs> I walk up trying to play it smooth, and before I can even say anything, I hear his iconic laugh, like, hey, hey, hey. I'm thinking, did Eddie Murphy just laugh at me? Or is this some, some kind of test? Because you know his iconic laugh, he stopped doing it. But anyway, I tried to keep it cool, but I turned into a fanboy real quick. I'm like, Eddie, man, you're the GOAT. I grew up watching Coming to America and Raw and Delirious and, you know, and he he just looks at me like, yeah, I know. Meanwhile, I'm standing there sweating like a kid who just met Santa Claus, stuttering like, yeah, 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 you're a legend. <laughs> and, you know, Eddie... Eddie got that smooth, calm vibe. Like, he know everything already. He's like, yeah, that's nice, kid. But relax, man. You you act like I'm about to disappear. I, I walked away. But shit. <clears throat> I don't think I, I passed the vibe check. I, I don't think I was cool in, in that scenario. But it was great meeting Eddie Murphy the first time. And, he know, you know, he told all his... Um, yeah, and uh, speaking of Eddie Murphy, laugh. You know, I miss it. I'm a tough truth, people. I miss, I miss the laugh. That <laughs> I, I miss it. And I know people looked at it. They probably thought like Eddie was dumb or something when he was doing it. But to uh, a lot of com comedians and stuff, that shit was genius. It was his real laugh. And I know, I know how some people feel like, you know, somebody start to make fun of it. You make fun of something you do naturally. You try to stop doing it or you don't do it at all. Or, you know, you try to just get rid of it out of your system and stuff. But 
I'm going to say, Eddie, if you're listening, I miss you laugh, man. Start doing it again. Start laughing. If the people start hating, fuck them. Fuck them in the ear. Fuck them in the out the ear. I mean, like, who who are these people to comment on your success? And, and that's just like, you know, people to, like, belittle somebody who's so successful and then talk about the nigga laugh. <laughs> like, I mean... Why? What's the point? I think it's funny. Keep laughing, my brother. Keep laughing. But uh, I, I can understand, though. I understand the position he was put in. But, man, when he did that laugh, you know, I, I would do the laugh. I would do the laugh and mimic him. I would copy his laugh. I'd be like, <laughs> after all his stuff, but, you know. I don't know. We should ask how he laughs now. Probably laughs like Batman. <laughs> yeah. What's up, people? It's good to be back. Yeah. You see it? You see it? I know what you're thinking, miss. Look at the beard. Uh-huh. You see the beard, right? I finally joined the grown man club. But well, let's talk about these gray hairs. Because they just showed up like, we live here now. Ain't nobody even invite them. I'm looking in the mirror like, where did y'all even come from? My daughter, she came in the bathroom one time and asked if I painted, I painted them on for a movie role. Like I was doing uh, an old homeless dude or something. I'm like, nah, baby girl, this is wisdom and stress from your mama. And now I got this whole salt and pepper look. And now I got this salt and pepper look. People keep calling me unk. I'm 5'4 and barely 40. How you just gonna skip me straight to unk? Uncle status. Can I be a cool cousin first? Damn. But you know, what I'm gonna start saying is, uh, shit, I'm grown now. I got a beard. I'm grown. You're gonna be my new catchphrase. Along with stay humble and stay cheap. <laughs> shit, this ain't my first rodeo. Let's see. I mean, I just, I don't even understand the new kids these days and age, though. They call me Unk, you know, probably hanging around. I need to be hanging around with Lil Duvall and stuff. I like the girls he be with. Or I don't even know if I could say that. My wife might be listening. Oh, I love married life. Yeah. Um. Wow. And we got to talk about my friends, too. I got some crazy friends. I mean, I hang out with some of the biggest names. But in reality, every time we link up, it's, it's like a reality show every time we link up. The Rock. Dwayne, Dwayne Johnson. He's at the gym at 4 a.m. Talking about no days off. Meanwhile, I'm, I'm hitting the snooze button. I'm like, you got it, big fella. You got it. That's all you. I'll be up at 12 p.m. with the regular people working out. And then there's Nick Cannon. He has a new kid every time I see him. It's crazy. It's crazy, Nick. It's crazy. I'm like, no, no, no. No, no, no. Don't do it, Nick. Not again. Every time I see him. And I'm just like, Nick, are you trying to start a village? What are you trying to do? Repopulate the earth? Oh, man. Child support must be crazy. And, uh, and don't get me started about Drake. Oh, man, hanging out with this guy. Oh, talk about your rich friends. You think you rich. Go hang around with Drake. See how rich you really are. We go to a restaurant 
and the bill comes, he's like, hey, Kev, don't worry about it. I got it. But I'm cheap, right? So I'm like, Drake, you sure? I know you got, I know you got hits. But the prices of these drinks, they hit different. And, you know, he's so smooth. But I still pull out my wallet real slow. Like, let me just pretend I'm going to pay this. I'm a grown man now. I got a beard. Let me pay it, Drake. Drake, one time we was at a bar and, uh, you know, the girl, she just gave us the drinks for free just because it was Drake. She didn't She didn't really recognize me as Kevin Hart, as, as a, you know, comedic rock star. She's like, ooh, Drake's here. Let, let, let's get him hooked up. Let's... Let's hit hook him up in his little short black friend. I like, hey, 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 it's K Hart, baby. And they 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 look at me like, oh, yeah, the, the funny man, ha ha ha. And then and then um in the middle of the restaurant while I'm trying to you know announce myself, one of Drake's songs came up. And I'm like, ah, oh. it, it came on. And I'm listening. I'm like, oh, man. Ain't nothing more humiliating than somebody's star shining brighter than your star. And, uh, shit, I'm trying to remember what song. Because uh, Drake, he got so many uh, hits and bangers. Um, what song was it? <laughs> it was like, wishing and wishing, bad things. Anyway, long story short, you know, don't hang around Drake. He's too rich. You know, you, you'll be sitting on his yacht for hours talking about, I, why can't I get this? I'm rich too. And, uh, you know, but yeah, I, I, just, I just try to stay relevant out here. It's a struggle. It's a struggle to stay relevant out here. And I know what you're thinking. Your boy ain't been too funny lately, you know? I had a couple off jokes. A little bit, a little bit too much about my family, about their bad traits. But hey, I was keeping it real. But shit, I'm in my 40s now. So I'm trying to stay relevant for the young crowd. But it's hard out here. My son looking at me like, Dad. You know, this little rapper now, you know, the little baby or the baby. I'm like, which one is the son? I'm, they are babies to me. Where's the mama? I don't see no parent. These these rappers need parents out here. Where's the daddy? And then, not to mention when I hear all these rappers, like I said, all these rappers, they sound like video game sound effects. Pew, pew, skip, skip. I mean, I love it, but, uh, man, back in the day, our raps had meanings. And the rap names had meanings, too. These, these rappers sound like cartoon characters. And then let's talk about TikTok. Oh, TikTok. Oh, let's clap it up for the Chinese, because y'all got these young kids doing all type of dance challenges in, in less than a few seconds. I tried, the, I tried one. Pull my hamstring through my back out. Ain't nothing about this fun. It's a full workout. I told my kids, trying to make the next TikTok dance to go viral. I'm old, so I always end up looking stupid like pretty much every old person who gets on TikTok. We, we not hip to the new dance cra crazes. And you would think that these kids who on the TikTok, they are Chris Brown. They got Chris Brown's DNA because they be dancing. Dancing they heart out. Oh, man. But guess what? I'm grown now. I got a beard. So I ain't got to do none of that. Man, dad life is crazy, man. Dad life is crazy. These kids, the kids, they look up to you, man. Not just my kids, but your kids, too. And the older I get, you know, the wiser the wisdom that comes in. 
You know, I'm dropping gems, gems on you. I'm like Little Wayne with the jokes. I'm dropping tiny little gems. You got to pick them up, pick them up, pick them up, pick up the gems, people. <laughs> no, I got gray hairs, beard, dad life. I'm embracing it all. At the end of the day, I might be getting older, but one thing's for sure. I'm bringing back the funny. <laughs> now, if y'all excuse me, I got to go oil up this beard and put some color on it before I lose what little cool I got left. Let me tell y'all something. Being, being short is a struggle, okay? I'm out here living life at 5'4 on a good day. <laughs> Maybe 5'2 on a bad. So my kids talked me into going to a, an amusement park. You know, they're excited. I'm excited. Yay, amusement park, roller coasters. Woohoo. And they like, Dad, let's ride the roller coasters. I'm I'm like, you know, all right, cool. Let's do it. I'm down. You know, I'm feeling myself. I'm on top of the world. You know, I'm feeling like I can do anything. We get we get to the entrance. And they got this little measuring stick. The measuring stick of fate, I call it. It decides your fate. My son breezes through, of course, and my daughter's good. <laughs> but <clears throat> when I step up, when I step up, oh, man. The dude looks at me like, sir, can you stand on your tippy toes real quick? I'm like, hold up, hold up. You got to be kidding me. I'm a grown man. I got a beard, damn it. He's like, sorry, boss. The rules are the rules. Nah, I'm mad arguing with a teenager making minimum wage. I'm like, I pay for this ticket just like everybody else. I got responsibilities, bills, back pain. I'm too grown to be denied for a ride. But deep down, I'm thinking, I wasn't really ready for this ride anyway. I like my life too much to be flipping upside down at 70 miles per hour. So they slapped me with a too short wristband and sent me to the kiddie rides. Now I'm out here riding the merry-go-round, waving at the kids like, y'all have fun on the death trap. I'll be over here with the ponies and cotton candy. Yeah. Asian man, getting older. I'm my knees, my knees. <laughs> That's me every time I get out of bed. Let me tell y'all something. Getting old is a whole different game. I used to wake up and just go. Now I wake up, I need a solid minutes to, a solid 10 minutes to convince myself and my knees that we still in this together. <laughs> oh, my knees, my knees. You ever get out of bed and your body just sounds like a bowl of Rice Krispies? Snap, crackle, pop. And, and, and that's just my neck turning. Yeah, just look at the alarm clock. That's just my neck. I, I look up, I told my wife, Bay, I think I pulled something in my sleep. She's like, how you pull a muscle laying down? I'm like, listen, it's a skill. You wouldn't understand. Staying fit nowadays, that's a, that's a whole struggle, too. Because, see, so I decided to get back in shape for, for muscle tone. I didn't really do it for the muscle. I, I wanted to have the image. So I signed up for a gym membership, right? I walked in all confident. Then I saw the workout equipment. Man, those machines, they looked like they were designed by NASA. I'm all over here trying to figure out how to adjust the seat. And, and there's this old lady next to me bench pressing my body weight. She looks over like first time, huh, younger, younger. <laughs> I'm like, nah, I'm just taking my time. I don't want to strain nothing. She's like, well, if you need any help, dearie, there are pictures on the machines. I'm like, oh. 
You think I need some simple A, B pictures to tell me what to do? I know how to do this, lady. Long story short, I should have listened to the pictures. Ended up pulling another hamstring. <laughs> Man. And you think that was stressful, though. Let me tell you about parenting. Parenting ain't easy. Parenting is a full-time job. But it comes with no paychecks and even fewer benefits. <laughs> My son's at the age where he thinks he's smarter than me. He came home with homework the other day, hands to me, and says, Dad, can you help me with this math problem? I look at it just like the old days and some algebraic equation that looks like it's plotting to destroy the world. I'm like, son, are you sure this is math? I don't remember signing you up for NASA. He's like, it's easy, Dad. You just got to carry the one and solve for X. I'm like, carry the one? I could barely converse, I could barely carry a conversation about this. Expect me to carry the one. How heavy is it? My kids, they don't take me serious, though. <laughs> That's why I ended up getting them a tutor. Then we got all this digital technology. You know, it's dividing us. The technology is dividing us, people. We, we can't let it get ahead of us. It's separating us. My daughter, she always on her tablet. I tried to show her a DVD the other day. She looked at me like I pulled out a stone tablet. She's like, what is that? I'm like, it's a DVD, baby. It's how we used to watch movies. She goes, you mean like on Netflix? No, 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 baby. It's not streaming. You put it on a DVD. It's a CD, a disc. And then you put it in the player. And she's like, what's that? Now I'm out here giving a history lesson on technology. Like, this is what we used before there was on demand and TiVo. <laughs> and she's nodding her head like, sure, Dad. Whatever you say, Grandpa. I'm like, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Can't be like this. <laughs> then, let's see. Let me talk about The Rock again. Oh, man. The way he's a big dude, always in the gym, lifting, doing mountain stuff. But here's the thing. When you hang out with The Rock, you're not allowed to be tired. You're not allowed. We went hiking one time, and I was struggling. I'm out here wheezing and sweating like I'm in a sauna. And the rock's just power, power walking up the hill. Talking about feel the burn. Feel the burn. I'm like, I'm feeling something all right. Probably a heart attack. I think that's what's coming. I told him, go ahead, Dwayne. I'm just going to lay here. Wait for the rescue team. <laughs> but I love being famous. Love being a the star. Them Hollywood parties, man. Them Hollywood parties are wild, man. You ever go to a Hollywood party? It's like stepping into a different universe. You got people drinking kale smoothies out of champagne glasses. Acting like it's normal. And I'm over here like, where's the real food? You know, the chicken. Chicken wings, pizza. And they like, oh, Kev, you got to try this gluten-free quenchy. I'm like, gluten-free quenchy? Man, I can't get to eat. I'll do some science experiment. But then I remember, I'm rich now. I got to pretend like I'm into it. So I take a bite of the quenchy, and I'm like, mmm, delicious. Meanwhile, I'm texting my wife like, bae, order some pizza for when I get home. I'm starving. <laughs> yeah, marriage. Uh, the wife, that, that stuff. If you married, clap it up, man. Clap it up. It's tough. It's tough. Marriage is work, man. My wife is amazing, but she's got this talent for remembering every single little thing I've done wrong. And she's got, she's got a mental file cabinet full of my mistakes. I'm like, bang, 
You still mad about that time I forgot to pick up the milk? She's like, that was like six years ago. But yes, I am. Because it's a pattern. A pattern? I'm out here trying to survive. She got me on the timeline with, with a whole built-up case against me, trying to get me to Rico. Like YSL, young thugger, young thugger, young thugger. <laughs> then, I don't know. I do, I try to keep it fresh, keep the romance alive. Right? So, uh, we had some date nights. So, a couple times we went on a date night. But, you know, when you've been married for a while, date night is less about romance and more about finding somewhere where you could both stay awake. We went to see a movie the other night, and I'm still struggling to keep my eyes open. <laughs> my wife was nudging me like, Bay, Bay, you're snoring. I'm like, I'm resting my eyes. It's called multitasking. But in reality, I was out like a light. I woke up at the end, and I had to pre pretend like I knew what was going on. Like, yeah, yeah, that was a crazy plot twist, right? <laughs> and I know this probably going to offend some people when I say this, but I did fall asleep during Black Panther. Marvel, what are you doing? Y'all making these movies too long. <laughs> Two hours? Oh, man. Oh, I was out in the first 30 minutes. Not because the movie was bad or boring or anything. It's just because I'm old. I can't help it. I'm out 30 minutes. That's that's the show for me. I'm going to have to catch it all on uh on Netflix, a, a Blu-ray, YouTube, something. Oh, man. But I, I love Black Panther and Chad Boswick, R.I.P., now, if y'all excuse me, I got to go oil up this beard and put some color on it before I lose what little cool I got left. So, uh, you know, I'm going to catch y'all later and remember, stay humble, stay cheap. <laughs>